to the Alabama Bass Trail pre-tournament meeting for Neely Henry Lake, the fourth stop, the Alabama Bass Trail North Division. Uh, John Simpson, your tournament director, is here with me, and we are just want to remind you this is pre-recorded, and so anything that needs to be updated between the time this is recorded and the time that we have the tournament, we will make sure that we post that and send that out in your email, but this is pre-recorded. Um, first of all, I want to thank the city of Gadsden for being our host this week. Uh, Julie Lassiter there at Coosa Landing, phenomenal team that she has there. She'll be assisting us uh, with the golf carts this week and making sure that you guys can get to and from your vehicles in a timely manner. That is important as we will be using an alternate parking destination for some of you over at the venue. Uh, you may be familiar with it. It was the old Kmart parking lot turned into the venue uh, and we will use alternate parking there. Do want to remind you, anyone who gets there early does get to park in the first parking lot there at Coosa Landing, so it's important for you to do that. I know John hasn't mentioned in this presentation, but I'm going to go ahead and say do not park in the Dollar General parking lot. They will have you towed. That is not owned by the city. It is not part of Coosa Landing, so please do not park in the Dollar General parking lot. Wanted to say that early in the meeting. We've got a few more people we need to recognize before getting into this. Uh, first off, your winners from Wheeler Lake taking home $15,300. Philip Harrell and Clint Gilbertson uh, getting their first win on the Alabama Bass Trail, punching their ticket to Lay Lake later on in October. Congratulations to them. Um, also to Delano Green, Delano Green Jr. They took home the $2,500 Phoenix payday $2,500 bonus. Uh, for being the highest finisher in a Phoenix boat. Uh, congratulations to them. And then to Brent Crow for having being the highest finishing uh, Garmin trolling motor owner, and he took home an additional $200 for that. Um, if you haven't figured it out, the Garmin bonus is separated this year, $300 for the highest finishing Garmin electronics, $200 for the highest finishing Garmin trolling motor. So if you don't have that Garmin trolling motor, you want to make sure to check that out on your next boat. Um, again, this is the fourth stop, the Alabama Bass Trail North Division, Neely Henry Lake there at Coosa Landing. That will be the official blast off and weigh in location. Uh, and just a reminder, this is not at this time a trailered weigh in. I know John has that noted in the uh, meeting notes as well. Um, again, if we receive a lot of rain over the next week or so, and we have to move that to a trailered weigh in. We will notify you ahead of time. But at this time, it is not a trailered weigh-in. One other note I want to say before we get into this meeting is, as you know by now, the 2025 Alabama Bass Trail schedule was announced on Friday, May the 3rd. Um, really excited about that. Thank you to everyone for your comments, your shares, uh, your text messages, your emails regarding the schedule. We're excited about it, but we've got business to handle for 2024. Um, but as always, you as an Alabama Bass Trail Angler have until from August 1st to August 14th to use your priority registration. We will be sending out your team IDs and PIN numbers two weeks prior to registration so that you have those. That's how you will access your uh, priority registration. If you are going to be changing partners, of course, you cannot utilize the priority registration. You would have to wait until August the 15th at 530 Central Standard Time. So thank you to everyone for participating this year. Thank you for selling us out in record fashion. Uh, we hope uh, to have the same result on August the 15th of this year. All right, Mr. John, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, let me share our screen. All right. Again, uh, as Kay said, welcome to Neely Henry, uh, the fourth stop for the north. Um, the slide here shows Kenny Kernow's phone number, 704-770-8600. He is with angler, anglerschannel.com. Uh, we do have some um, assigned cameras that will be placed on boats that morning. If you feel like you would like a camera, you can text Mr. Kenny or call Mr. Kenny um, and tell, give him your boat number and say, hey, I would like to have a camera. If you think you're on fish and you'd like to have it on camera for live TV, uh, definitely send him a text or your boat number. Again, these are first come, first serve. If there is one available, you will be able to get you a camera for the tournament day. Boat check for this event will start at 3 a.m. Um, 
boats checking in by water uh, will come to the dock in front of the store. We will have some red flashing lights. We will have one of our crew members there to uh, with ribbon and key fobs to check you in uh, if you're coming by water. Safety first, anytime the big motor is running, you must be wearing a Coast Guard rated PFD, even in practice days. Uh, again, practice days for these events are Thursday and Friday before the tournament. Any tournament rules will apply for those two days. So if you are seen not wearing a PFD when your motor is running, uh, you can be protested and it will result in a DQ for the tournament. Uh, if you're fishing up below the dam, you will be required to wear your PFD below that dam. Please follow all posted water control signs and buoys. If you receive a ticket during this tournament, it will result in a disqualification. A lot of the bridges on this lake are idle only. Um, if you're running down river towards Rainbow City, when you get to Rainbow City, the double bridge is right there uh, at Southside. That is an idle only area. So please, uh, please obey that, that, uh, that idle only area. Blast off for this event will be 6 a.m. If safe light is earlier than that, we will try to get you guys out earlier, but the set time for right now is 6 a.m. First flight for this event is due in at 2.30 p.m. And as Kay mentioned earlier, th at this time, this is not a trailered way in. There's a lot of dock space on the riverfront there, uh, all the way down towards uh, Buffalo Wild Wings that you can tie your boat up, weigh your fish, and then come to the scales and then put your boat on the trailer. If we do get a lot of rain and the current is too strong, we will make a decision uh, before the tournament and announce that, uh, you know, no later than that morning that we will change that. But as of now, this is not a trailer to weigh in. When you get the boat check on Saturday morning, the team member in the driver's, um, the driver's seat of the, of the truck will have your uh, text message pulled up showing your team's boat number. Boat check will check that out and give you your key fob with that boat number on it. Um, do not lose your key fob. Um, you, you must have your key fob at the bump sink to weigh your fish. Uh, we do not take those up when we check you in in the afternoon on the water. You must have it at the bump sink. Um, again, as, as Kay mentioned earlier, for this event, you cannot park in the Dollar General parking lot. Um, they will tow your vehicle. Uh, we will have overflow overflow parking over at the venue, and uh, we'll show you the logistics, all that, how to get over there with uh, one of the logistics slides later on in the presentation. No wake zones. Observe all no wake zones on the lake between the bridges and Gadsden right there where we're taking off. That is a no wake zone. So anytime you're going between those bridges, you are to be at idle speed. And then again, um, at, in Rainbow City there at Southside, that is also a no wake under the double bridges there. So please observe those uh, no wake zones. Again, if you receive a ticket in this tournament, it will result in a DQ. Fish size limits for this event, uh, 12 inches on largemouth and 12 inches on spotted bass. This is just an overview of uh, how we're going to be coming in to the boat ramp. If you'll see, you'll come down. If you're facing the Dollar General from the uh, from the street, you'll come to the left side of the Dollar General. You'll go down. There's a stop sign right there. You will take a stop uh, right at that stop sign. Go towards the train trestle and then take a left and come down by boat check. Uh, from there, we will have people directing you on the ramp. And when you leave the ramp, you will be directed on how on where to park. Um, off limits for this event will be between the two bridges on the boat ramp side. Uh, our blast off boat in the morning time will be below the Broad Street Bridge. So you will you guys will stage between the two bridges. As we call your boat number, you will come by us. Um, if you are going back up river. We're going to leave the uh, the west side of the channel open. Um, so if when you come by the blast off boat, you will turn and go back towards the west side of the channel, go up and idle between the bridges, and then put it on pad and run up river. 
If you're running downriver, simply come by the blast off boat and run downriver. Water check showing there also in front of the store. Um, the next slide, this just basically shows um, where if, you know, some additional parking, if you're a single single car or a truck, there's a gravel lot on the other side of the, of the uh, railroad trestle there. Um, please, if, you, if you're parking a single car, please go on the other side of that trestle. There is a little gravel road that goes underneath it, and there's a pretty good sized gravel lot over there. Just please leave all the single vehicles over there. Do not park in Dollar General. Um, once we fill the main parking lot up at Coosa Landing, um, the red line here just shows how we're going to go route you guys over to the venue. You will go straight out of the ramp, uh, go to the stop sign like you're going out, and then you'll take a right going over towards Buffalo Wild Wings, and we'll have people over in that in that uh, parking area to uh, to help you guys get parked once we get hit the overflow and go over to the to uh to the venue parking uh again uh here's my number 256-309-9852 if you have an emergency on the water please call 911 first get first responders on their way uh if there's an injury then uh, once you have those folks on their way, give a, give either Daniel or myself a call. Uh, Daniel Montgomery's number is 256-284-9889. Once weigh-in starts at 2.30, uh, Daniel and I will both be on stage. If you have an emergency at that time, please contact Kay. Her number is 256-303-7905. If you are uh, coming by water or using an alternate for this event, um, when you receive your uh, text message on Thursday afternoon, those go out at 7 p.m. Thursday afternoon. Um, if you're coming by water, simply just send me your boat number, say boat number one, coming by water. If you're using an alternate, please give me your boat number and then say, hey, John Doe is fishing for in place of John Smith. Uh, we make some changes in the system once the, uh, you know, before the tournament um, so we can pay everybody accordingly. Um, I will need those texts or emails no later than five o'clock on Friday afternoon. We At that time, we get everything set up. We get all the key fobs pulled for uh, anyone that's coming by water. And uh, like I say, you can text me at 256-309-9852, or you can send that information to, to me via email at j-o-n at alabamabasstrail.org. Again, guys, I need that information no later than 5 p.m. on Friday. If you have any questions about the tournament, please feel free to call me. Um, any rules, questions, or anything like that, uh, you're more than welcome to call me any any anytime. Uh, I am available eight to five every day um, and do not hesitate to give me a call. Uh, one thing that we did not mention about the uh, cameras and the trackers, anybody that is assigned a tracker or camera, please do not tamper with those devices during the tournament. Always have your tracker in your boat with you. Do not power that tracker down. And if there is a camera on your boat, please do not turn that camera off. That will also result in disqualification. Our live team uses that to uh, find people on the water and uh, get good TV footage for our for our television show. Other than that, uh, I hope everybody has a good event. Um, one other thing that I want to say before we close, in case of um, heavy current during the tournament, there is a possibility that we would put uh, the afternoon check-in on one of the docks and that dock would probably be the one in front of the store where the water check-in is if that if that comes to be we will also make that that uh, announcement uh, uh, the morning of the tournament to let you know where water check-in will be for that afternoon but uh, other than that um, if you have like i say if you have any questions please feel free to contact 
All right, two things I want to bring up. Um, you do have uh, 10 cameras that will be pre-told. They will be getting cameras as well as another uh, 20 or so trackers. If you are one of the people that have been voluntold to get a camera or tracker, I beg you to please come to Boat Check early. Let us get you outfitted with your camera. Don't wait around and say, well, if I don't get there early enough, they won't get my camera on and I won't have to do a camera. We will ask you to come back to the dock. If you do not get there in time to get the camera, we will ask you to come back and get your camera after blast off. Um, those are put there. We're making TV. We're making live coverage. That is exactly why we want them on there. If you are in the top nine, uh, you can imagine that the next couple of tournaments, you will be receiving either a camera or a tracker as we uh, kind of dwindle down to the end of the season. So if you are getting a camera or tracker, please get to boat check early enough that we can get that installed on your boat. Second of all, everyone is encouraged to watch this meeting. Uh, we had several people who did not obey uh, the traffic uh, flow at Wheeler. The one way to keep us from going back to live meetings or in-person meetings is to watch these videos. If we continue to have issues with, with people not going through the proper proper way um, for uh, tournaments, we will go back to in-person meetings. So I highly encourage you to watch the meeting, ask your friends if they've watched the meeting, and make sure that you are uh, obeying all of our traffic routes as that's how we have mapped it out. That's to not cause frustration with the other anglers as you did at Wheeler and to not slow down um, everything in the morning. So please make sure that you're watching um, these meetings. Also, I want to remind you of the protest rule. Protests are required to be filed 15 minutes after the time that the scales close, which should be around the five o'clock mark. Um, last flight, I think, is due in at 4.30. Uh, 30 minutes after that flight is when the scales normally close. So by 5.15, all protests would need to be submitted in writing and signed and witnessed uh, by either John or myself. So just want to remind you of that rule as well. Um, again, I want to also recognize our current uh, leaders in the Angler of the Year points, uh, Fisher and Ryan and Naya. Uh, they have a, I think it's around an 11 point lead over second place. So uh, things are starting to get exciting. We're glad to be back at Neely Henry. Thank you to the city of Gadsden for being our host. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing our screen. There we go. Uh, I want to thank the city of Gadsden for being our host, Julie Lasseter, and everyone there at Coosa Landing for being such great partners with us, and we look forward to being there. Uh, based on what I know right now, one of our partners will be on site for this event. You'll be able to get to meet the great people from Anheuser-Busch, and they'll be there with some sampling of some bush light. I know there will be several of us that will enjoy that, so uh, we're uh, excited to have them at their first event with us as well. They'll be giving away some swag, uh, so we're excited to have them there at Neely Henry. Thank you for watching. Please make sure that your uh, friends that you're either rooming with, that you go to dinner with, make sure that they've watched this meeting. Not because John and I really want them to see us, but we <laughs> don't want them to interrupt the flow of boat check in the morning um, as referenced what happened at Wheeler. So um, also make sure if you're getting a camera or a tracker that you get there early. We're excited to be there. Fourth stop, the Alabama Bastro North Division. It's flying by, John. It is yep. flying by. It Thank is. you guys for tuning in. We wish you a, a good evening and we will see you at Neely Henry. Have a good night.